Fox and the Three Bears by Robert Gary. Once upon a time, there were three bears. Father Bear, Mother Bear, and the Baby Bear. Father Bear was very big. Mother Bear was not very big and not very small. She was middle-sized. The three bears lived in a little house in the forest. Every day, the bears ate porridge at breakfast. One day, Father Bear said in his deep Father Bear voice, Our porridge is too hot. We can go and walk in the forest while it's getting cool. So the three bears went out for a walk in the forest. At the same time, somebody else was walking in the forest. A little girl with golden hair. It was Goldilocks. She was called Goldilocks because of her color of the hair. Goldilocks saw the bear's house. She walked up the path and knocked at the door. No, no, no. There were no answer. She peeped in through the window. She looked for a nice inside. She rang the bell, but there was no answer. So she walked into the bear's house. Goldilocks saw the porridge on the table. There was a big bowl for Father Bear, a middle-sized bowl for Mother Bear, and a small bowl for Baby Bear. Goldilocks was very hungry. First, she tasted Father Bear's porridge, but she did not like it because it was too salty. I don't like this porridge, it's too salty, Goldilocks said. Then she tasted Mother Bear's porridge, but she did not like it at all because it was too sweet. There was too much sugar in it. I don't like this porridge, it's too sweet, Goldilocks said. Next, she tasted Baby Bear's porridge. Mm she said, I like this porridge, it is just right. And she ate all baby bear's porridge. Goldilocks looked around the house and saw three chairs. First, she sat in Father Bear's chair, but it was too hard. She got in the chair and sat in Mother Bear's chair, but it was too soft. She got up the chair and said, I don't like that, these chairs. It's too soft. Then Goldilocks sat on Baby Bear's chair and it was just right. Goldilocks was too big for the chair and the chair broke. And Goldilocks fell onto the floor. Oh dear, poor Goldilocks on the poor Baby Bear's chair. Goldilocks was tired now and she wanted to sleep. She can't sleep on the Baby Bear's chair because it was broken. Goldilocks looked around for a bed to sleep in. She found a bedroom and there she saw three beds. Father Bear's bed was very big. Mother Bear's bed was middle sized and Baby Bear's bed was very small. Goldilocks got into Father Bear's bed but it was too hard. She climbed off to the bed and said, I don't like this bed, it's too hard. Next, Goldilocks got into Mother Bear's bed but it was too soft. She climbed off and said, I don't like this bed, it is too soft. Then Goldilocks got onto Baby Bear's bed. She lay down and pulled the blanket up and said, I like this bed, it's just right. Goldilocks closed her eyes and went to sleep. While Goldilocks was asleep, three bears came home. They were hungry. Father Bear looked at his bowl of porridge, was cross and said in his deep Father Bear voice, Who's been eating my porridge? Mother Bear looked at her porridge, she was cross and she said, Who's been eating my porridge? Baby Bear looked at his bowl, he was very cross and sad. He said, Who's been eating my porridge? It's all gone. The bears looked at their chairs. Father Bear said, Who's been sitting on my chair? Mother Bear said, Who's been sitting on my chair? Baby Bear looked at his chair and said, Who's been sitting on my chair? And look, it's broken. The bears went to the bedroom. Father Bear looked at his bed and said, Who's been sleeping in my bed? Mother Bear looked at her bed and said, Who's been sleeping in my bed? Baby Bear looked at his bed and said, Who's been sleeping in my bed? Looked again and said, There she is! Goldilocks 
got such a fright she jumped out of bed and ran to the window. She climbed over the windows and she ran and ran and ran. The tree bears never saw gold locks again. The end.